Can you really apply something to your paintwork on your own that lasts a year? Today, we're going to find out. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at a product called Synergy Light from Infinity Wax. It's a one year light ceramic coating. It's designed for DIY application. It can be applied outside in the elements. It's built in sacrificial layer will help cure time. It's got the ability to fill surface scratches. You don't need to polish your paint before using it and you can layer it for additional protection. So let's get straight into it with the preparation. Now, when it comes to ceramic coatings and their durability, preparation really is key. If you don't prepare your paint properly, you're never going to get the expected longevity out of the product. This is a one year ceramic coating. So to get that full one year, we're going to go through the full wash and decontamination process. By this, I mean citrus pre-wash, snow foam, a good shampoo, tar and glue remover. We're going to use a fallout remover. We're going to clay bar the paint. And then once we've done all that, we're going to polish it before even thinking about applying the coating to the car. Time for the application. So to apply Synergy Light, you want to be using a microfiber applicator pad. You want to prime it by spraying the coating six to eight times onto the block and then start applying one panel at a time. You never want to spray this product directly onto the surface of the car. You want to make sure that you're using a crosshatch method by applying the coating up and down and then side to side as this gives you a better, more even coverage and make sure that you won't miss any spots. You then want to leave it for between 30 seconds and 5 minutes and then you can start removing the coating. For removal, you want to grab yourself a short pile microfiber till around about 280 GSM and then you can just go about removing it. I use circular motions but just whatever floats your boat really. Then once you've coated the whole car, you can go ahead and give it a final wipe down using a plush microfiber till with around about a 500 GSM. And then after that, you're good to go. So Synergy Light comes in a 100ml bottle and from that 100ml bottle you can expect to coat 3, 4, sometimes 5 cars depending on the size of them. As you can see here I'm doing a Fiat 500, this was actually the third car that I coated using this product and what you'll notice is that I'm using a pipette and the reason for that is that the trigger sprayers actually crystallised within the trigger spray head and became unusable. Infinity Wax do sell replacement trigger heads but it's just something to be mindful of if you plan on using this product over a prolonged period of time. Alright, so if you haven't already figured out, I've been running this coating on one of my own cars, or my family member's cars, for the full year now and I've been monitoring it and I've been maintaining it over the course of that year. So this is three months into the coating. You can see that the car is a little bit dirty as we are only just coming into the start of summer at this point so the car's never going to be filthy however there is still a decent enough level of road traffic film on it to do a little bit of an update even although this vehicle is washed monthly I'm not going to torture you by making you sit through the wash process again because we've got a few of these to get through so I'll just very briefly show the initial water behaviour while the car's dirty and how easy it is to just rinse off that sum of dirt using some pressure, just water pressure and then we'll jump straight into after the wash and see what the water behaviour is looking like there. And after three months you can see by the way that the water's performing on the vehicle that the coating is still very much there and working as expected at this point in time. So let's jump on forward to eight months down the line. And just like that, we're eight months in on this coating. Now, eight months at this point is actually around about mid-November. 
and we are really into the depths of getting some really bad weather going on and I'm going to give the car just its regular maintenance wash. The maintenance wash process for me on this ceramic coated car is a good pre-wash, normally a snow foam, followed by a pH neutral shampoo and then a rinse down and a dry off and that's all that the car gets, it's all a ceramic coated car needs. This car in, in mid-November didn't even need a pressure wash, a hose was enough to clean this car and again we can see that the water behaviour is still performing as expected. However, on some of the flatter areas of the car, like the bonnet, the roof, the boot lid, it has started to slow a little bit. And what I'm putting that down to is the coating getting a little bit clogged up. It is eight months in, so you've got to expect some sort of cloggage happening. So we're going to deal with getting the coating unclogged just now. Now I have done a dedicated video for how to unclog a coating, so I'm just going to run through this very, very quickly. If you want to watch the full video, I'll leave a link up in the top right hand corner of your screen just now. But essentially what you want to do is give the area that's clogged up a good wash with any kind of wax off or decon style shampoo to help get anything out of the pores. Following on from that, you're going to want to give it a liberal hitting with fallout remover. This is going to get rid of any iron oxide or anything like that that's stuck to the coating. Once you've done that, you should essentially be good to go. Your coating should be good to go again. And that was the case for this car. After I hit with the Infinity Wax Wax Off Shampoo and then I used Built Hamber fallout remover because I didn't have any Infinity Wax stuff left, the coating was very, very, very much so brought back to life. Before we dive into the 12 month update, I thought I would do a little bit of a test on the bonnet of the Subaru Impreza. Now, the bonnet of the Impreza is absolutely battered and if you're interested in checking out the build, go and check out my other channel, I'll leave a link in the description. But essentially what the plan is, is to split the bonnet into a little half and half area and I'm going to test out if this can get, can indeed get rid of any kind of surface scratches as it claims on the Infinity Wax website. To do that I'm going to be layering the coating. I'm going to put five layers of this coating on, it can be layered up to 20 times. The first time you want to apply it and remove it straight away and then for each subsequent layer you want to apply it leave it one to three minutes, remove it and then repeat the process until you're happy that you've built up a sufficient amount of layers. And my thought process behind this was that it could fill in some minor swirls. There was also a bit of a bird etching on the bonnet that I wanted to see if it done anything with. So I'll crack on with getting this layered up and then we'll have a look and see if it's made any difference. Now that I've got a healthy five layers of the coating on the car, I'll leave it to cure until night time and then I'll come back out with my LED light and we'll have a little look and see if we can notice any difference. So we're starting at the left hand side of the bonnet here which hasn't been treated, you can see all the swirls. And then as we move over to the right hand side of the bonnet, well there's the bird etching that we were hoping to get rid of. So I'm not sure on what level it can get rid of surface defects but it's not done a great deal here, I don't think. Maybe I've used it wrong, who knows. And just like that, we're at the year mark. This ceramic coating's been on the car for a year, and today we're going to find out just how well it lasts, with how, how well it stacks up with its claimed one year durability. For the one year wash I'm going to give it a snow foam, I'm going to use the Infinity Wax Wax Off Shampoo and then a fallout remover to declog the coating. Let's do it. Guess you 
Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Now that I'm just rinsing the remnants of the fallout remover off the car We can go in and have a look at how the water's performing on the paint and of course with a product coming towards the end of its life cycle there's going to be some areas that are still performing excellent it's, and some areas that are starting to slow down a little bit more like what you're seeing on this rear quarter panel and what you're about to see on the rear door especially in the lower half of the doors the areas that get the most abuse from the road rash other areas like the bonnet are still performing very well and the front wings for some reason are both still performing very well. So lots of evidence to suggest that the coating is still performing at this 12 month mark. That's going to bring us to the end of this one year ceramic coating series. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this car yet in terms of how I'm going to maintain it going forward. If I'm going to give it another polish and then put another ceramic coating on it or if I'm just going to try and keep what's left of the Synergy Light on it by topping it up with uh, QDs, maybe Synergy Boost, something along those lines. But just to sum up everything that you've seen in this video, Synergy Light one year ceramic coating, has it lasted a year? Yes, it has lasted a year. Obviously, it's not displaying the properties that it was on day one or week one or month one, but it's still on the car. It's still doing a job, still making the car easy to clean. Therefore, is it a product that I would recommend somebody to go and buy? Yes, it is. If you're looking to put a ceramic coating on your car, they're really, this is really, really easy to install. It's really basic application, really basic removal. And it's a really easy product to maintain. It costs you 20 quid. You get 100 ml. It says it does five cars. I would question that, but you would get at least two or three cars out of it, or maybe one or two cars out of it if you wanted to do the two coats. This was only one coat, aeroplane. This was only one coat, and it's lasted a year. So two coats, probably going to get you a little bit longer duration. Anyway, I hope you've liked the video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.